let's talk about annotations which can be done on the flow sheet now we're going to cover this how to add annotations the type of annotation that we have how to display them how to hide them how to group those annotations and why and how can we print those now typical annotations are either tables we're going to see how to add a result table into the flow sheet it's very convenient if you have a process unit maybe here and you run it and you want to have all the results live instead of actually going directly to the unit operation and verify your stream value you can always click run and this will be updated each time this is a stream table annotation even though you can still add a custom table annotation or if you're using the calculator uh, manipulator you can get the results here as well now the text annotation well if you can probably imagine is a text box you can add whatever color size line order whatever you want it's very uh, useful if you are maybe you have I've seen very beautiful simulations which are very beautiful separated they show you the preheating system then the depressurization then the flashing system and so on they show you with text instead of you actually trying to understand the process it's already written by text annotations now not only you can add text and tables you can add further figures for instance a rectangle this little arrow right here maybe you want to add a circle or a triangle whatever you want to add you can add those and what we're covering in this slide is how can we group those so for example you can see maybe that this is one object and this is another object so if, if I were to move the rectangle the reactor text will remain here but if I wanted to move it as a single unit I will have to group it and now when I move the rectangle I will move the reactor text as well now the same is true for all these right here that has been selected so actually once that I click here group I will be able to move all these with a single movement now you can always show relevant annotations or display information here go to flow sheet click here on modify and this button right here has the following options the ID well many times of course you want to add the ID you have block one stream number three and so on but if you want to get rid of annotations or maybe you are using annotations just for your senior partner or for your boss but you don't actually need them and you think they are distracting you you can click here and once you click here it will disappear and annotations will be hidden from you it doesn't mean that you are actually removing them they are just hidden you can click again here in annotation and it will appear same is true with custom tables calculator if you're using the designer spec transfer block measurement blocks and all these manipulator right here you can remove them or hide them if you want so once again guys it is much easier to understand how it works and why it's useful when we work on the workshop so let's go and make this little guy right here